Hello friends and welcome to another lecture on chemical engineering thermodynamics. Today we'll take up a problem which has come in Mumbai University December 18. The question is 3B. This had come in CET 1 question paper. So this problem is of chemical engineering thermodynamics 1. It says calculate the molar volume of ethane at 400 Kelvin and 1 megapascal using the Peng Robinson equation of state. The Peng Robinson equation of state is given and all the constants, how do you calculate the constants that is also given. Now we need to find the molar volume. So that's a pretty simple question for 10 marks and it can be easily solved within 5 minutes. So let's go ahead with the solution. The first thing that we need to do is we need to calculate the value of S. So let's do that. We have omega is 0 0.099. So let's calculate the value of S 0.37464 plus 1.54226 into omega. That's 0 0.0. 99 minus point two six nine nine two omega square so that's point zero nine nine the whole square and we have the value of s so the value of s is zero point five four uh <clears throat> let's see the value once again five two four six 5246. So 5246. Now, after we calculate the value of S, we calculate the value of the residual temperature. The residual temperature is 400 divided by the critical temperature that is 305.43. So that's going to be equal to 400 divided by 305.43 so that's 1.3096 so we can take it as 1.31 well let's round it off as 1.31 now after this we calculate the value of alpha okay so the value of alpha can be calculated as 1 plus s so that's 0.5246 start the bracket 1 minus root of 1.31 the whole square right so the value of alpha that we get is let's work that out now start the bracket 1 plus 0.5 two four six into start the bracket once again one minus root of one point three one so the bracket has to be outside so let's move it outside we close the bracket and once again we have one more bracket and the square of that so now we have the value of alpha that is 0.8541. So that's 0 0.8541. That's the value of alpha that we have. Now we need to calculate the value of A. So let's that do that directly now. So the value of A is going to be 0.45724 into 8.314 into 305.43 305.43 the whole square divided by 4884 that's in kilopascals so that's going to be 603.69 so that's going to be 603.69 and the value of B is 
0.07780 into 8.314 into 305.43.43 multiplied by 4884 4884 now that's 0 0.040 so the value of b that we get is 0 0.040 now it would be advantageous to calculate the ideal gas volume and you will understand why I am doing it. So that's 8.314 into 400 Kelvin divided by the pressure at which we need to find out the volume. So that's 1 megapascal. So let's take it up. It's 1000 kilopascals. So we now calculate the ideal gas volume. So we write it as IG ideal gas. <coughs> so that's 8.314 into 400 divided by 1000. So that's 3.3256. So that's 3.3256. So V ideal gas is equal to 3.3256 meter cube per K mole. Now let's write the Van der Waals equation of state. So the Van der Waals equation of, no, not the Van der Waals equation of state. Pardon me, that's the <coughs> Peng Robinson equation of state. P is equal to RT V minus B minus A alpha upon V into V plus B plus B into V minus B. Now, pressure is 800, 1 megapascal. So we write 1000 here. So we start writing the values for this equation. 1000 is equal to RT. RT is going to be 8.314 into 400 kelvins. So that's going to be equal to 3325.6. So that's 3325.6 over V minus 0 0.040 minus A alpha. So now we need the value of A alpha and that's going to be equal to, yes, so we have the value of A as 603.69 into the value of alpha, that's 0.8541. And that's is equal to 505.61. 515.612 so that's 515.612 so now here in the denominator what we have is v v plus 0 0.040 plus 0 0.040 v minus 0 0.040 now what we do is we solve this using the calculator. So what we do first is we enter this in the calculator. So that's going to be 1000 alpha is equal to 3325.6 divided by alpha x minus 0 0.040 minus start the fraction 515.612 divided by alpha x multiplied by start the bracket alpha x plus 0 0.040 close the bracket plus 0 0.040 multiplied by start the bracket alpha x minus 0 0.040 and close the bracket and come out. Now we need to solve it. So what we should do is we should put press shift and we should press solve. Now give the ideal gas volume as the initial starting value of x. So that's 
256. Now remember one thing that this value is going to be fairly close to the value that is calculated by the Peng Robinson equation. So the initial start value, if it is closer to the solution, the chances that the calculator will converge quickly is much higher. So let's go ahead and have a look. And there we are. It's converged immediately. That's 3.21084. Let's do it once again. Shift solve 3.21084. So what we have the volume as 3.2108 meter cube per kg. Meter cube per kilo mole, sorry. So that's the quickest way of getting the solution. And we have got our answer. And this is very close to the ideal gas volume. And therefore, we do know that, yes, we are right. And the volume, as you can see, is lesser than the ideal gas volume. That is because the forces of attraction come into picture here. So therefore, the volume is not as high as the ideal gas volume. Okay, friends. So that was all about solving a problem for volume using the Peng Robinson equation of state. Hope you have learned something from this lecture. Once again, I request you to subscribe my channel. This is very important to me because only this motivates me to go on and produce quality lectures for students. It's once again a request. I have only 590 subscribers and I need to reach 1000 subscribers to make this project viable. Therefore, share my playlist to maximum students, share my videos to maximum students and do ask them to subscribe my channel. That was all. Have a great day. Goodbye.